Hey guys, Shrug here. Um, today, quick video, I uh, just developed a quite a few logic gates. So, i oh, using the instant repeater thing on someone's phone, probably knows. Um, so, this here is an instant XOR gate. I'll just show you how it works. Um, it's inverted, so as you can see there, both of these turn the output to off. But then, when you've seen the output pulse, nothing happens uh, with both of them off. And by default, as you can see, both of them on, does nothing as well. Um, the only thing with this is the inputs need to be sent at the same time, so you can't send an output pulse like a few ticks away from each other. But See, it does work like that, but it takes a bit longer than normal. So that's just to keep the instantness of it. Um, I'm going to upload a schematic of this, if anyone wants to play around with it. Uh, I have made an adder with it, but... Wow. It's insane. I'm not going to make a video on it yet, because the amount of bugs I've discovered whilst working with complete zero attack is just over the top. So once I crush all those bugs, I'm going to release a video, but for now it's just too over the top. And like some of the bugs I'm getting are things like I'm sending a pulse that burns out a torch instantaneously. And after a bit of looking, I discovered that there was actually around six pulses going through that same wire at this, in a, a space of zero ticks or one tick. So I was actually quite impressed with that. And yeah, but anyway, so I'll move along to over here. Um, this is a basic instant AND gate, so we've got set to default where nothing's going through. Break one of them, nothing happens. Break the other, power goes through. So as you can see, nice bit of AND in there. And over here, just tapping right is OR gate, nothing. Nothing special or new. And finally, we come to an instant uh, decoder. So, if anyone wants to use this, of course, I actually just remove these torches here so it doesn't pulse the output. No. So, we've got it set to 0, go to 1, so it's in there at 1, and just throw it up a few places up to here. As you can see, it is truly instant, no delay. Uh, I'm using it, it actually currently with my new uh, memory module. So, as you can see here, um, oh, damn it. Here's my USMV2. It's not complete yet, but what I'm aiming for is complete tileability. So, you can just stick these side by side and they'll work with. A very slight modification, which will be on the decoder, which it, which you just need to add, um, uh, just change it to the address of that particular module. But anyway, that's all I really have to say. Uh, if anyone wants any schematics in particular, I can upload them. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.